I'm 41 years old today. Um, this is my third birthday. Me and my dad go later on go out to Red Lobster and get something because I love that shrimp by the Red Lobster. And then after that, uh, I'm going to go to a party on my birthday. So I, will, I can't bring the cameras in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do some jokes right now because they won't let me bring the camera in the club. But you know how that is. But anyway, I'm 41 years old. When I was 21 years old, I said, 41 is a long way. You old man when you're 41 years old. I was in trouble at school in uh, 1991 and I was 18 years old, but now I'm 41 years old. I came to old men in the club. Now when I go to the club, I accidentally go to the 21-year-old club, the, old, the young boy said, what are you doing here? You up here seeing your son? I said, no, I ain't coming here to see my son. I'm the latest man I date no how. And I walk in there and the 21-year-old girl now come in, how you doing, sir? I say, I ain't sir, I'm sir and your man. Because I'm the latest man. So we are 41 years old. And uh, you're old man in the club. You know what I'm saying? You come to sugar daddy. Now my mistake is I forgot to make some keys on dessert. See, I didn't have time to make no keys on dessert because I like to go to the store and buy my favorite uh, places. See, I like going to the circus, right? And so when I go to the circus, right, I like to watch the lions and the tigers and stuff. So I buy peanuts and also buy balloons at the circus, right? So now the store never did fly in my house. So I don't have the kids. I'm 41 years old, broken black. But I will have my old lady. See, my old lady, she made me a cake. She did real my cord, right? She got a big old dog, she yellow. The dog is yellow, big and dog. And the dog don't like me in the house. And every time I go in the house in the slumber party in her house, I asked, I said, uh, put your dog up. The dog be barking, rrr, rrr, rrr. I said, hold on a minute, the gingerbread man here. He like, he must like gingerbread cookies. So I walk in the house, before I walk in the house, she makes sure the door is locked so the dog can't get to me. Then I run up into her house, into the room. We watch some movies later on, I get the book of cookies, and later on that night when I wake up in the morning, it's like I can't get up because I'm like in a coma because I'm too tired to get up because I'm 41 years old. See, I, now we used to be 40, I could wake up, but now I really can't wake up because I'm 41 years old and I lost my six percent. So I told her, don't make me too many milk and cookies. I already had some peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Later on, I leave her house, the real McCoy, and I walk out of her house, of my crusty black feet in her house. Broke black man. And I walk on out of the house and the dog bark again. I said, keep your dog away from me, and I drive away. Later on, I go to mother lady's house. These are all jokes, lady. This ain't real. This is a story. This is comedy. Anyway, so I go to my lady's house. And she didn't remember McCoy. And she got a black dog. And her daddy said, don't bring that gingerbread man in my house. Because I don't like the gingerbread man walking in my house. I'm on the dollar's house. My beautiful daughter. So next thing you know, I go in her house and have the slumber party. And the dog barking at me. Rrr, rrr. I said, hold on a minute. I said, your dog is black like me. So he used to be like black pride. But the black dog don't believe in black pride. The dog, the dog don't like the, the gingerbread man. Cause the dad in this says up to the gingerbread man because every time I walk in the house, the dog boom, boom, and the gingerbread man runs. So ladies out there, if you got a big dog, keep those big dogs away from me. I don't like big dogs. If you got a big dog, I'm going to sit outside of the porch. I said, I'm all right. You going to walk over here? I ain't going to walk over there because you got that big old dog right there. Now the dog all right. You know, lady, these are all jokes. I just made this up. Now let's go back to my Kuta Kente lady because I love the Matubule Queen. My black sister, she got a 21-year-old son. I like 21 year old sons. And then she got a 44 year old son. And one son older than me because I'm 41 years old. And she told me I got to be a man to both of them. I said, for one, your other son is 44 years old and your other son is 26 years old. I'm going to be a man to another man. She said, teach him something. I said, well, I'll go ahead and teach him how to make bootleg movies. How to walk around in the street and pet him. How to beg for some money and be broke and black and ain't got no money and live in your house. She said, they already do that. They're about to get out of my house and you about to get out of my house for talking like that. So the next thing I lost, I lost my newbie queen because I told her I was going to be a man and teach him how to be a man and stay in a black woman's house and don't get cussed out. Next thing I know, I got kicked out of her house and I went to my other black woman because I love the black woman. She's so beautiful, so precious. I love the black woman. Everything about the black woman is spectacular. I'm just so happy to have a black woman. I like my woman dark. So any dark woman out there that's dark, darker than dark, but like dark Vader, with long hair, black and beautiful, got a degree and everything. Want a broke black man that don't have no money, 41 years old, catch the RTA. I ain't got no kids, but I'm broken black. You ain't got no medical benefits, no nothing. Lost my 6% because I was 40 years old, I lost my 3%. But now I'm 41 years old, I lost my 6%. Live in your house, let me be the boss, cook and clean, do my laundry, scrub my crusty feet, and say you love me every day. Go on, call down D, call, call DATV and tell me that you love me because I'm waiting for you. Because I'm a broke black man on the bus. I'm the latest man of dating know how. Women look at me left and right and they say, you know you look good. I said, well, I know I look good in your house, broken black. Living in your house and you ain't calling the police to kick me out of your house until you find out I ain't working. 
So next thing you know, I'm about to go ahead and do the show to date people. Show these little jokes. Me and my dad gonna do the rest of the jokes. Cause we are comedians and they know how. Cause the ladies love us. Cause we look good and we're broken black and we the myth. But ladies, I'm about to go on about the business. I'm about to go on back to my birthday party. Cause I'm about to go to the birthday party later on. But I'll holler at y'all later on. Yeah, so all the ladies out there, if you're dark skinned, got an educated degree and everything, got plenty of money, got your own house in Trotwood or Inglewood, got plenty of money, want a broke black man that's unemployed, that catch the bus, the green machine bus. Don't have no money, ain't gonna never have no money. <laughs> Live in your house, walk around with your house, talk about he the boss. You cook and clean, run the bad water, because the Bible said the man the boss, ladies. These are all jokes. Let the broke black man walk in your house, the gingerbread man, ladies. I look for a dark skinned woman with a whole lot of money to live in her house, cook and clean, let me be the boss, let me be the king of her house. She pay all the bills and says she love me. So if you out there, go call DATV and tell me that you love me. Because I'm a broke black man looking for love. See, I'm looking for love, ladies out there. I'm broke and black. You see these beautiful eyes, they broke and black. These eyes been water, baby, because I've been broke and black. Every time I look for a job, the, the man said one more thing. Uh, you're broke and black and you ain't got another degree. Or walk away and go to the welfare office. So I walk to the welfare office, right? Because I'm broke and black. I hit on the ladies at the web farmers because they ain't got no money too. I said, I know they want them a broke black man because they broke and black too. They a broke black woman. So I go to my living there queen black woman at the web farmers. I said, baby, you look good to me. I'm broke and black and I just got out the bus and I got my RTA boast tokens. And I'm on the welfare too. She said, excuse me, broke black man. I got five kids. I don't need no broke black man like you. The baby daddy already broke and I kicked him out of the house. Why I want you in the house? I said, you kicked him out of the house so the ladies man can walk in your house and you can cook and clean and pay all the bills with your welfare check. And next thing you know, she called the police and I was down in Montgomery County Jail again. See, Montgomery County Jail, they know me down there because I'm broke and black. And I'm be in these black women's house telling them I'm the boss and next thing you know, I'm in the jail. That's my new house. So the ladies out there, these are jokes, but ladies, you know, I'm looking for a black woman that's blacker than black, with low hair, beautiful, want a broke black man that ain't got no money, that you can support, because see, I ain't got no kids, I don't pay no child support, but I'm a, man, I'll be in your house, and you pay child support on me, and I'll be the man of your house, you talk to me like, oh, you love me, hold my hand, and put all them up in that black folks that you try to impress in church, because I'm a preacher man, son, walk around in your house, walk around your up with that black folk women, as you said, you know what, my man here, Dr. Here, Lord, you tell you, my man Panhandler, and he a bootleg man, and I love him, if you're looking for that, Miss uh, Spectacular Black Woman, because I love black women, because black women, y'all so beautiful. Everything about y'all beautiful. I love the dark woman, y'all so beautiful, spectacular. If you're looking for a broke black man, I want you to make this kind of money. $60,000 or $50,000. Make plenty of money. See, I like older women. I like women about 90 years old. Women so old that when they look at me, they say, you know what, I just happy to be having a man in my house. Uh, older, see, a 90 year old woman, she don't cuss you out when you're in the house. You got like a woman that's 25, my age, 40 years old. They talk about you gonna pay some bills. I ain't paying no bills if I ain't got my name on a deed for one, and I ain't gonna pay the bills because I'm the ladies, man. So I like me a hundred year old woman, an eighty year old woman. So if you're an eighty year old woman, they're looking for a broke black man, that's forty one years old, that lost a six percent, to live in your house, ain't got no money, to live on the green machine bus. Go call me, and I'll be there for you. And if you're fifty years old, ladies, and you got grown kids that's twenty five to twenty six years old. And you kick your son out the house and your daughter out the house and you looking for a broke black man. I know y'all black women out there looking for a broke black man. Uh, so this is our, this is the plea for all your black women. I'm 41 years old and lost my 6%. When I'm 40 years old, I lost my 3%. But now I'm 41 years old, I lost my 6%. I'm a broke black man. Out here. They catch the green machine bus. They ain't got no job. They ain't got nothing. Everything about me is nothing. When Bush give me a check on my social security, he said when I'm 65 years old, he going to put down uh, $900. That's all I'm going to make. So we're going to have to survive on my $900 Social Security check. Because I'm going to be broken black forever. And catch the degree machine to a bus. So what you going to do, Miss Beautiful Black Princess, because I love my black but never that queen. If your extra doc is even better. I want you to go ahead. Tell me that you love me. Let me live in your house. Walk around your house broken black with no money. Talk about I'm the king because I'm a male show this man. But walk in your house and you let me be the boss. Cook or clean. Tell me that you love me. Walk around with your uppity black folks that you trying to impress. The hopalooping black folks and say, my broke black man, I love him because he the myth. And he ain't got no money, but he going to live in my house and I'm going to cook and clean and I love this black man. So black woman, you out there, I'm out here waiting for you. I'm a broke black man with no money, broke and black, broken and broke. Want to live in your house, cook and clean, and let me be the boss. And I love you. Bye-bye. Mm. 
of $500 million. Yeah, I heard of Man, can you believe that? They don't have a care from now on. They can just sit back, relax, and enjoy all the money. I'm happy for them. Happy for them? I ain't happy for them. Why you happy for them? I ain't happy for them. You're not happy for them? Why would we happy for them? I'm about the welfare office, riding a skateboard, trying to get a number from the welfare lady. She looked me in that discouraged look like, brother, you need to turn to the retarded place. And then they got a nice woman, looking for a nice, good looking woman, Holly Berry kind of woman. Yeah. An Essence woman. But aren't you happy for them? I mean, it could have been you, and they may have been happy for you too. I don't care if they're happy for me. I'm happy for myself, but I ain't happy for them. I don't want them doing better than me, get a better looking woman than me, get more milk cookies than me. David. You shouldn't feel like that. I, I bet you all America feel like that. I'm up here looking in the refrigerator, looking for some milk, and the only thing I see is a carton there with no milk. I go in there, see the bologna, and the bologna is only one or two bologna in there with no bread. Oh. I cook the bacon, cook the bacon on the door former grill. Next thing I know, I burn the bacon, look for the uh, miracle whoop, and the miracle whoop like that. I look like the oddest miracle milk. Oh, and then they up there eating gourmet dinner, eating lobsters, got proper maids and all that. Pretty women swimming in the swimming pool. My swimming pool is going to the lake on Lakeview of Steaks. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I thought maybe you would have a a happy feeling for them. I ain't, I ain't happy for nobody doing better than me. David. Anybody I happy for myself doing good. Now, I'm happy for somebody that they related to me because mm -hmm. I don't want to get the money. Oh, oh this my, if it's a woman of mine and she going to marry me and I got a wedding ring oh, and she oh. won it, and I'm very happy because that means I, I'm off the welfare ticket forever. Well, that's true. But that's I ain't happy for them. They going to have better than me, better life than me. I ain't happy for y'all. If y'all want to lie, I ain't happy for that, one of y'all. I don't care if y'all want it and don't win. Unless y'all give me some money, unless you're a rich woman and you got money to pay the ladies, man, oh. to be with you. Then we happy for you, because that means you're going to buy us a Mercedes, a red car. A red car. A beautiful maid that looks beautiful oh. when you out of town. Oh, oh us. Oh, oh. So Look she out. do more than cleaning. And uh, buy us a diamond marine paper everything. But if you ain't paying enough for the ladies, man, because we the ladies, man, didn't know how, and you got all that money, we don't get the money, we ain't happy for it. David, do you think she would go along with uh, your recommendations? I think so. She needed to look a picture of me and you. See, we the best looking men in Dayton, Ohio. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, we told them we had the welfare office. So you know, the five hundred, the people want that big lottery. Mm -hmm. If you a woman in this bunch, and you got all that money, come down to Dayton, Ohio, because the ladies men here. You can go ahead and pay for our new shoes. We like Jordans, all kind of Jordans. Every Jordan, even Jordan, ain't been out yet. Okay. You can buy Dad a tuxedo and a oh, brand new Bible. I would like that. And you can pay for uh, me to uh, go to the welfare office and laugh. That I ain't gonna get no more food stamps. But that would be something great to know that for the rest of your life you would never have to go to the welfare office again Wonderful. looking for food stamps. I'm looking for no more food stamps. Uh, I'll be eating all the food in her house, gourmet food. She'd be paying for everything. I said, uh, Woman, what else you got for me? You done bought me a car. Mm. You done made me plenty of milk and cookies. Oh. I done ate all the Oreos, not a chocolate chips. And then you bought me a big old mansion. You paid for my crusty feet to be in your beautiful hundred thousand dollar house. Inside is a hundred thousand. The outside is a two million point five million dollar house. And my dad, he get to sit down with a beautiful woman like Holly Berry. Holly Berry, yeah. And she's uh, twenty two years old. They oh. make him another baby because he want a baby. If you want a Larry, you ain't gonna pay child support. So you know it's gonna be Africa Village all over the United States and each continent by the time you get done. Because he the latest okay. man they know how. And we're preaching the word of God. He'll preach the word of God, and he'll be the next Billy Graham out of your money. <laughs> out <laughs> of her money. Out of her money. <laughs> she be paying for the trade in time. Was it thirty or sixty thousand dollars on bill trade? About sixty thousand per episode. Oh, episode. You be paying for them per episode for him to say hello there. May I help you? God's been good. You be paying for that, and you can be paying to be with the ladies, man, of Dayton, Ohio. Well, that's food for thought. I never thought of it in that way. So we only have a formula if they're a woman, and she paying for all the bills and paying for our bills. Okay. And buy you her uh, mansion and paying for everything and looking like 